Hi, honeys. Welcome to Books and Halls with Michelle. I'm here today to talk to you about bras. The first video I ever did was about why I will never shop at Victoria's Secret again. And that very first video was by far, still is, the most popular video I've ever done. So I decided why not redo it and give you an update about just what I've discovered since then, how I still, do I still feel that way, so on and so forth. I guess I should thank Victoria's Secret because they started me on a voyage that I didn't know I needed to go on. What happened was, <laughs> well, actually, let me backtrack. My mom and I used to go bra and panty shopping whenever either one of us had a bad day. This started when I was in junior high and it just kept going all the way into adulthood. She's going to come see me in a, a couple, well, about a month. And when she gets here, I wouldn't be surprised if I was in a bad mood if she wanted to go bra shopping, right? That's just who we are. It's one of our little bonding things that we do. So I've always been a fan of beautiful bras and underwear. And then about five years ago, was it five years ago? Maybe a little longer. I got sick. And I didn't know what was wrong with me. And I had no energy. I mean, so bad to where I got so lethargic that I stopped being active. And if you want to gain weight quick, stop being active. <laughs> now I finally have a diagnosis and I know what's wrong and I know how to fix it. And I'm already starting to feel so much better than I have felt and five years or more. Now, because of that, I'm wanting to be more sassy and more playful with my bras and panties again. Before all that weight gain, I was always a very saucy bra and panty girl. And I got to a point where Victoria's Secret had always been my go-to place. That's where you're supposed to go, right? If you want beautiful bras and underwear, right? Well, not anymore for me. I got to a size where I could not find panties that fit me in Victoria's Secret anymore. I couldn't find lingerie there that fit me. And I had always had a bit of a hard time because even at my thinnest, I'm still big boned and I still have big hips. I would still be what men would call thick, even when I'm at my thinnest size. So the short story is, I kept going into Victoria's Secret and finding less and less things that would fit. And I was getting frustrated. And at this point in my life, I wasn't even trying to be sexy. I just wanted a bra. I mean, I don't feel like I'm going out of bounds here by wanting a bra to wear. I mean, I need to wear one every day. I <laughs> have a chest. And I went in there and the woman was just so rude to me and she told me, that they no longer carried D cup or above in the store that I had to go online to buy bras now. And I said, well, where do I go if I want to try something on? Because I just gained all this weight. Like I didn't know what my size was anymore. I knew I was a D cup cause I've always been one, but, um, I didn't, I just, I needed to play around and figure out what to wear. And she said, go over to that place across the, the way there, that torrid place. That's where the big girls go. And I'm like, whatever. So I left. And thank God she told me to go there because I found bras that fit me. I found underwear. I found lingerie. Everything I could want they had that would fit me. And even if I get to my ideal weight again, which I'm I'm positive I will now that I know what's wrong and I can start losing weight, um, start being more active, I will get down to my smallest size. But even then, I could probably still fit in Torrid's smallest size that they have. So I, I, I've had a couple people comment on that video saying, well, you can now get D cup and above in their stores. Oh, okay. Well, that's good to know. I wouldn't know because I feel like they've been so off putting to people who aren't petite. <laughs> and like I said, even when I was my thinnest, I couldn't fit in most of their stuff. And it, it used to make me feel so bad about myself. Like there was something wrong with me. And I looked it up and they still do not have anything plus size. They still don't have plus size panties. I think they say they go up to an extra large, but when you look at the measurements, good luck being that small, you know? I mean, I know there's small people out there, but I did my research and I found out that 70% um, 
it's estimated that 70% of women in America are a size 14 or larger. So, you know, if Victoria's Secret wants to turn away 70% of the female population in America, well, that's, you know, their choice. But I'm, I personally am just kind of disgusted with it. Over the years, I have found so many brands that never had plus size clothing, like Calvin Klein, that now do. But to find that Victoria's Secret still doesn't, that tells me a lot about them, right? Okay, so let's get into the bras though, okay? Because that's the important part. I've, now that, now that so many brands have woken up and discovered that you have to appeal to a larger demographic of people to be worn by a larger demographic of people, I, I find it so much easier to find what I want now. And I just wanted to share it with you because I'm so excited about the bras that I have been able to find. Years ago, if you were a D cup or bigger, all you had was granny panties and granny underwear that looked like tents. They were never beautiful. They were never sexy. And I just feel like it's okay to be sexy and it's okay to feel beautiful no matter what size you wear. I don't think that we should keep saying only these people can feel pretty and sexy. Why? Whose rule is that? It's certainly not mine. I think we should all be able to feel beautiful and sexy. And I think that brands should get even smaller because there's a lot of petite women who can't find things small enough to fit them. That's not right either. So I feel like we should, you know, I feel like brands, if they're smart, should just expand their sizing a little bit more. Anyway, I'll get off my soapbox and tell you about the bras now. Torrid, where the lady sent me. Here's my Torrid bra. And this is called the push-up plunge bra. I will have a link down in the description box. And this one, I did go up on the band size. I'm usually a 38, but I found with push-up bras, I need a little bit of extra room in them. Something about the way that they fit. I just always need a little extra room. Doesn't matter what brand it is. It just, they feel too tight at my band size. So I did get a 38 and here's what it looks like. And it's got a bunch of padding in here on the, the edge here and on the inside here to make it a nice push-up bra. And they've got, it is under wire. And then they've got a second wire right here. And what that does is it makes it to where the bra doesn't go down here. Because that's another thing that happens a lot, at least in my experience, with push-up bras. Is I end up with all this like extra weird <laughs> overflow right here. And so that doesn't happen if you have this. And it's got a nice thick band with three prongs on it. And that's also something that you really want with a push-up bra. You want a nice wide band and you want I or at least I want a wide band with the three prongs otherwise I end up with it's not that I don't already have rolls because <laughs> I do but they're more pronounced if I don't get the thicker band one other thing about this bra that is super nice is it's got these adjustable what do you call these I don't know but you can switch them over so that it's a racer back bra, which is really nice. And the lace quality is so good on these. I've had this bra for years, by the way. Obviously, I don't wear a push-up bra every day, so I, it, you know, it's, but it is nice that it lasted this long, and it, I think it'll last for years more to come. And I just really love this bra, so I wanted to tell you about it. Uh, as of today, it's $38.67 on sale. I think it's normally like $50 or $55. So if you want to get one of these, uh, you might want to get it soon while they're on sale. These come in a 36D to a 50 triple D. And you can also get some C cups too. I think it's uh, 38C where they start in the C cups. So... That's one thing about this bra, though, that I have to mention. It only comes in your more curvy plus size sizes. It's not 
if you're standard size or you're real petite, unfortunately, they don't make bras in your size. I've got two bras that I found on Amazon. And I just to let you know, if you use the links down below in the description box, the Amazon links are affiliate links. I get a small commission if you use them, but every little bit helps. And if you do use my links, I appreciate your support. Just, I got this bra here. It's the Wings Love Pink Half Cup Lace Bralette, and it comes in five different colors. And this brand, it's called Wings Love. If you don't like this bra, they have so many variations of bras on their Amazon page. It's amazing. They have just anything you could think of. They basically have. I was actually really impressed. They even have panties and I don't think their panties are plus size though, but they've got um, swimsuits and what is that called? Control wear, you know, where you like kind of suck in your, <laughs> your rolls. They've got all kinds of stuff. This bra was $19.99. And I think every bra I saw in there was $30 or less, which is great. Their size range is 28A to 38DD. So that's pretty good. And yes, you can see through it. <laughs> it does have a little bit of extra coverage here on the side just to provide a little bit more support. But it is a beautiful bra. I love it. Um, I haven't worn it out of the house, but I have worn it. I wanted to leave the tags on just for when I show you. But um, everything on it is kind of thin, and it's really made for more of your standard size body. But I'll tell you what. One thing that was wonderful about this. So it's got the thin bands back here, and then it's only got two prongs. And I thought, oh, I don't know if that's going to work. But when I tried it on, we noticed it didn't actually, like I said, I already have rolls. That's part of being, you know, plus size, but it didn't accentuate any of the rolls that I had. It didn't make anything look bigger or stick out more. And one thing that was really nice is it's so low on the ribs down there. Like it's so low down on the spine. I think it was down to about here that I could really easily wear a low cut back or an open back dress or top and I really like that because I love showing my back <laughs> I do so I just I was very surprised with the quality and how just beautiful and sexy this is and for me this is a nude color it's funny that <laughs> if you notice so many brands, they'll have white and then like a beige color that says nude and then they'll have other colors. For me, nude is pink and for a lot of people, beige isn't nude either. So I wish, I wish some of the brands would extend what shades they have so that if you want to wear something that doesn't show through a white t-shirt, for example, um, we could have that. But for me, this is a nude color. Another bra that I got that I found extremely comfortable is this. It's called Vars Baby or Vars Baby. And it's another see-through bra. I like see-through bras. <laughs> um, so this is a see-through lace push-up bra. And it comes in six different colors. And it does come with a pair of panties. Um, the panties that came were really tiny. So I've actually already given them to a friend of mine that... Um, is a lot smaller than I am. <laughs> but they're, they're nice panties. I just... You know, I'm not going to wear them, but for $19.99, I didn't mind getting panties that I would just give to someone else. Their size range is 32B to 40E. Um, they I couldn't find any panties that were plus size, and I don't even know if they sell panties separately. I didn't see it on the um, Amazon page if they did have it. But they do have, I think all the bras that I saw on there were sets where you just get a pair of panties with it. If this is a push-up bra, it's a very light push-up bra. I didn't feel like I was, you know, wearing a push-up bra in it. And I don't think I really looked like I was wearing one either. Like I said, it's probably a very light push-up, but boy, did this look pretty on. Very sexy and beautiful. And this one, it had the same effect with the 
thinner band and the two prongs, I just found that it was really low on my back. It didn't create extra rolls or anything. And it was quite flattering, especially if I'm wearing something that's low cut in the back or open in the back. But I really enjoy it. I'm so excited. I'm excited to be filming this video so I can start wearing all my bras that I got. <laughs> the, the first one I've had for years, so obviously I've been wearing that. But these other ones, these are everyday bras for me. They're just sexier than what I usually wear. And I can't wait to start wearing them. I also wanted to mention Adore Me. I found them online and they had beautiful bras and underwear. I was so excited until I discovered that their bras come in sets just like the two I just or just like the last one I showed you. And they're telling me based on their measurements that they find me to be standard size on the top and plus size on the bottom, which is fine. I don't care. I don't take that kind of stuff personally. But what I did take personally was you can't mix and match. So every time I found a bra I liked, when I looked at the size of panties that could go with it, they were all too small. So then when I found panties that I liked, the bras that went with them were too big. And they wouldn't let me mix and match. So that really turned me off and I ended up not shopping there. If they change it, I will definitely shop there because they have some really beautiful stuff there. I just... Couldn't see a point in, in spending the money on that. And I really wanted a bra. So that's what this video is about is the bras, right? So I just felt kind of frustrated. It was like, <sighs> there's a lot of people that aren't the same size on the top as they are the bottom. So once again, it kind of felt like Victoria's Secret. It's like, you're turning away a lot of people that way, but okay. <laughs> so for me, the star of the show though, has been for a couple of years now, Outen. They are my favorite bra brand. I'm wearing an Outen bra right now, in case you're wondering. Um, they come in a size 32 AA to a 42 G. Their bras are all, at least when I checked the other day, they're all $22 or less. And they also have, I have to show you this, they have plus size panties too. They have panties that go from an extra small so petite girls aren't excluded, all the way up to a 4X. That's the only brand I could find that actually catered to all of us on the top and on the bottom. And I did end up getting a pair of panties. <laughs> I wanted to show you. They're really pretty. They're nice, good quality. And what I always do is I go off of the um, hip measurement when I size what panties I want to get. These were $7, by the way, and I will put the link in the comments or the description box, excuse me. They're called the Fashion Thong. Um, I got a 3X, which is a 24-26, and I, I know I normally wear a 16 or an 18, but that's how big my hips are. So I will put, I'll put up here the size chart that they have for their panties just so that you can see it. But I was so excited that I actually found a place. Um, that I could get a top and a bottom at that also is not just plus size, but standard size as well. I can get tops and bottoms at Torrid for a lot more money, um, but those are only for plus size. And I know a lot of my viewers aren't plus size, so it's kind of hard to recommend Torrid to you when I know that you can't wear them. So that's why I really wanted to find somewhere like this where they have tops and bottoms for literally all of us. The bra that I got is, it's Paramore, which is actually one of the, Paramore. so I'm not sure about this bra. The tag says Paramore, but then the paperwork with Target said Outen. So this might just be one of the Target brands, but I usually go out in, but regardless, I'm still very happy with this bra. It's so it says Paramore Dahlia in Black, $21.99. And this is a Geo Lace four section cup unlined bra. Side support panels help position breast toward front and center. A leotard back, fully adjustable straps. 
and these come in okay so this is not out in then I guess hmm. a 32 C to a 42 H and this is what that looks like super pretty right I just love this and it's this doesn't have wires here on the cups. It's just extra support. But it's super comfortable. You can't really see through it down here. I mean, you kind of can, but not like you can up here. But it's a really pretty bra. It's got a lot of support. And I found it very comfortable when I wore it. Now, since the, apparently this isn't an outing bra, <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I guess I got confused. I did want to tell you about Auden bras, though, so I'll put some pictures up on here. So Auden is the one brand that I have also found that has an assortment of nude colors. So no matter what your skin color is, you'll actually be able to find something that's close to your skin tone in a nude color. And I, I'm very impressed with that because so many stores just have white, and then beige and then they go to black or navy or pink or what you know so i'm i'm just super excited that they're more inclusive not even just with size but with skin tone i mean it's just amazing <laughs> out in for me is where it's at i do love all these other ones too obviously or i wouldn't be recommending them to you but i don't want to leave out in the dark here because like i said they are the star of the show for me and and if you want to know how to find your correct bra size, I did go over that in my video where I talked about how to know if clothes will fit without trying them on. I will put a link to that video and my very first Victoria's Secret Why I'll Never Go Back video at the end of this video so that you can go and watch either one of those if you want. It was kind of fun. I actually watched the Victoria's Secret video that I did a couple days ago and I, I feel like I've grown a lot. <laughs> <laughs> as a YouTuber and with my comfort in front of the camera and it's just kind of fun to take a look back and see how I was then. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to let me know down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. I love you. Bye.